All right, guys. So uh, today we're going to be playing My Time at Porsche. Uh, this is a game that I got around Christmas. I uh, got it from uh, EpicGames.com while they were having uh, their Christmas sales, and it was for free at that time. It is not still free. And uh, although I'm very glad I got it for free, uh, my favorite price, it is well worth whatever they are asking for it at this time because it's a fun game. I really, really enjoy playing it. And my two-year-old won't quit bugging me to let her play it. I can't get on the game without her wanting to play it too. <laughs> so, but uh, to start out with, you have your choice of male or female. Uh, there's no unisex choice. Uh, you have to choose male or female, but regardless of which one you are, you can choose either one. So uh, I tend to go with male, although in role-playing games I have occasionally made female characters. I uh, prefer to have a male character in this. And uh, the selections for hairstyles are rather limited from my perspective. Uh, I really don't like any of the hairstyles for, you know, for men, and they don't differentiate between men and women for the hairstyles. All the, the same hairstyles are available for both men and women, uh, so I guess it is unisex. I guess that's the only one I care for there. Uh, color, hair color. Uh, let's go with, yeah, let's go with a dark color. I uh, don't want the highlights to be quite that much. Uh, give me, oh. <laughs> Let's see. What color highlights can we go with here? Um, yeah, let's, let's go with a more brownish highlight. Yeah, that's better. Uh, hair length. You can adjust the hair length to a certain extent. I'm going to go with relatively short hair this time. Okay, a um, lot of adjustments that you can make. And uh, skin color choices. You can actually go with it. it if you really want to, you can you can actually make the skin color very dark. Uh, that's or very light, whichever you prefer. Uh, you want him pasty white. He can be pasty white. You want him ebony black. He can be ebony black. It's whatever you choose, whatever you want. Um, I will go with a I'll probably choose a lighter skin color. Yeah, I like a nice tan, not too dark. Not too light. Yeah. Now, you can make lots of adjustments. The eyebrow positions here. Uh, eyebrow shape. Can, it can be adjusted dramatically. Uh, the thickness of the eyebrows. Uh, the size of the eyes. Uh, the shape of the eyes. We'll leave that in the middle. 
the height of the eyes. Make that to the top. And the width of the eyes. I'm going to go with in here. And you can adjust the eye color. Again, uh, they have full spectrum eye color here. You can choose literally any color and the secondary color is for shadowing, shading. Um, literally, you can go with any color here. But, uh, let's see. I'm going to go... I'm going to go with a brown. Um, maybe a little yellow highlight. Okay, it's not coming out the color I was looking for, but okay. Uh, nose, two adjustments on nose, three adjustments on mouth, three adjustments on chin, and we can change the lip color. So nose position, uh, let's I kind of like the middle position there, maybe a little bit higher. Uh, no size. I'm good with wide. Um, uh, mouth. Toward the small side, but not smallest. Height. Uh, put it up little bit, not quite to the highest shape. Eh, let's keep that close to neutral, semi-smile. Uh, chin size, uh, okay. I would say that's more chin shape than chin size, but um, I'm going to go with little bit toward the thin side and then we got width here give it a little bit of width and length I think we'll stay close to the middle on that one lip color I'm not liking the lip color they've picked here oh definitely don't want to go girly on it um, Hmm. Okay, so let's see. Secondary here. Secondary doesn't seem to have that much effect on it. Um I don't want it to be that white. Oh yeah, okay. I think I'm f uh, no, 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 no. Um, okay, maybe right like that. All right, and uh, you can choose between being beardless, having a beard and mustache, having a mustache, and couple of different mustache choices here and beard and mustache and nothing um, you can give them a little bit of facial some facial designs if you want them um, and this one with nothing the this is the choice of nothing uh, if you go with a beard, you can make it any color you want. Uh, if you go with a pattern, you can make it any color you want. Um, hmm. Not sure I want any of these. Eh, let's go with that. Let's go with that. Uh, but we can make it any color we want. Uh, Make it a dark blue. 
and oh, that's beard color. That's beard color. Okay, pattern color. Uh, let's go with yeah, kind of a dark blue here. Yeah, we'll go with a dark blue on the pattern color. And name is going to be Nagorb. Because, did I introduce myself? I am Nagorb. Uh, that has been my game name for many, many years, and I will keep it. So, Nagorb it is. Confirm. Now I have to pick a birthday. When do I want to be born? Uh, there are four months in the year. Each month represents an entire season. Uh, so instead of three months per season and 12 months, they have just four seasons and four months. Um, I think that I will go with my birthday on the last day of the year. And here we go, we're starting the game. Now, uh, understand this game is set in a post-apocalyptic uh, post world where uh, the people have just recently emerged from uh, from hundreds of years of living uh, of living underground in isolate it, it, we're in coming up on Porsche so it's, whoa uh, that looks beautiful what are you gonna do there ruin diving understand it's considered it's supposed to be something like that we get someone like you once in a while always this is the rebuilding that of the world after we destroy Good to be young. It doesn't look like they're any better off than well, when we started out. Good luck to you. Thanks. Now this is not my first time playing through it, and uh, so I will try and be trying to give you the benefit of my experience. Uh, I don't know why you uh, uh, why you're watching, whether you're watching for entertainment or you're Hi. watching. Uh, or you're watching for the purpose of learning how to play the game. I'm going to assume that you're new to the game and want somebody to show you the ropes so that you can play it as well as, well as possible. So, um, and I'm going to try to do that. So, hi Presley. Presley, how do you do? Ah, good to see you again. Hope you had a pleasant journey from... Bonarok, right? That's quite far. Yeah. Yep, it's real far. Anyway, I'm here to show you to your workshop, so if you would please follow me, it's pretty close. Okay, it is really close. Now, I understand. wonder what it's like. I didn't get to know my pa too well. No one's been working there since your pa left Portia so many years ago. He was a good friend. Yeah. Okay, now understand... Uh, when you get to the shop this first day, that's it. Your opportunities are gone. You're going to go to bed right away and wake up the next day. So, this is your one and only opportunity to do something, and you can't run off this way. It won't let you. You can't run off this way. It won't let you. You have to pretty much follow the path but you can accomplish something you can get something out of the trip because it will let you come to this tree and here you can expend some of your limited energy to gather some rubber fruit which you can either use for future crafting or you can sell for immediate cash uh, there's, it will let you come to this tree. So 
So this is your only opportunity to get anything out of the day. This first day is a complete wash if you do not do this right away. There's nothing else you can do. Now, it won't let me go over to that tree. And it won't let me go over to that tree. There are only two trees it will let me go to. Uh, even though there's some shells on the ground over here I could gather, it will not let me gather them. I must go the way Presley wants me to go. And here we are, your workshop. This place sure has seen some wear and tear. What do you think? Looks homey. Now then, here's a letter from your father. He asked me to present it to you when you've seen this house. Alright. Nagorb, when you read this letter, I will already be on the other side of the world. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry that I'm not the father you wanted me to be. This was all so sudden, so I didn't have much time to tell you or figure out how to take care of you. Then I thought about this workshop. It might not look like much now, but it will brace you from the wind and cover you from the rain. I have left my workshop handbook the details how I created things in my workshop. The rest is up to you. Do your best and live a wonderful life. You will always be my pride and joy, Paul. Day one, month one, year one. Okay, uh, doesn't sound like he was very good dad, but okay. Here's the He's workshop the handbook of your pa's. Take your time. Come to the Porsche Commerce Guild tomorrow. It's located around Peach Plaza. Can't miss it. All right. And now, as soon as I end this conversation, I will go to sleep. I don't have any choice. As much as I'd like to give you a builder license right away, you need to prove your worth through a couple of tests. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to prove my worth. I'm truly going to prove my worth. Got it. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Because as soon as I click space here, I am going to sleep. Anyway, I'll leave you be. Get some rest. Do I have a choice? Bye, Presley. Thanks for your help. Nope, don't have a choice. Okay, now. First day I am going to wake up with half of my stamina because of a poor night's sleep. This house sleep. is so worn. I need to fix it or I won't be getting a good night's sleep. Okay, now the house is a wreck and this on the wall is this home panel will give me information later on. Right now I don't need that information. Right now I need to accomplish some things. Uh, I'm not going to go see Presley right away because I know what Presley wants me to do. Presley wants me to build a stone axe and a stone pickaxe. So let's see, Porsche Times. Hello, new subscriber. This is the Porsche Times. We are sp sponsored by the city government and the local Commerce Guild branch to bring you the latest news in our city for free. We are a monthly publication, so papers will be sent out on the first day of each month. If you have any questions or concerns, please do not hesitate to visit our office on Main Street. Porsche Times, day two, month one, year one. Okay, now, I know my first task is to build that pickaxe and that axe. Now, immediately, as soon as I level, I am going to take advantage of it. Always do every update you can at the earliest possible time so that you get the most out of it. And here, uh, click to add skill points. Each skill has a different upper limit. Add five skill points to each level to unlock the next one. The final skills have stronger effects. 
you may or may not want them. Okay, now you have three categories, fight, gather, and social. Now, if you want to go the social route, you may be tempted to just click on this right away. I'm here to tell you that there is a better choice because the best way to advance socially is to be able to gather quickly, level up quickly, and take advantage of some of the more passive means of gaining reputation and social points. So, gathering here may look like a good option. This one Stamina cost decreases by 25% when using the axe, so you get to use the axe one-fourth more off, uh, longer. Same thing with, uh, with your uh, pickaxe. That looks like a good opportunity. And this one here, kicking trees, maybe you get double loot 6% more of the time. But the best option for me, in my opinion, is intense training. Experience gained increases by 5%. This one right here is where my first five skill points will go. Because right here, this is going to mean every time I add a skill point here, the next skill point is going to come that much faster and be available. I'm going to level that much faster and be able to add skill points here and here that much faster. So, skill point's going to go here, and I'm going to level up 5% faster now. Also have a mission, go to the Commerce Guild. We know about this one. Presley's going give, to give me a test when I get there. I'm already going to have passed that test and the next one. So I'm going to get on it right now. Okay, so. Oh, and there are chests scattered around. I do, I probably don't know where all of them are. I've probably even forgotten all the ones that, uh, some of the ones that I've found, but we w I will do my best to find as many as I possibly can for you. I need 13 each of stone and sticks. Okay, I've got, I've got enough sticks. And I've got enough stone. Okay. Now, I would normally stop and talk to everyone if I had time, but I don't waste don't waste the time when I have when I don't have to. So right here is the workbench, and here, if you've got a quest item that can be built on this bench, it will show up right here when you click on here and tell you how many you need of it and you can go ahead and build it right there. But since I haven't been given the quest yet, it's not going to show up. So I have to come over here to pickaxe. I know I'm going to need uh, to tools, this, the tools. I know I'm going to need a simple hatchet and it's five wood, eight stone. So I'm going to craft that. And I'm going to need a pickaxe. It's eight wood, five stone. And I'm going to craft that. And I have just one wood, one stone left over. But now I have the means of harvesting wood and stone by chopping down trees and breaking rocks. So I'm at an advantage here. Now, very, very quickly, I need to do that. I need to cut down some trees and break some rocks. I am going to do that very quickly. Let's see. 
first I'm going to move these around. Actually, I'm going to put that there and that there and my boxing gloves here because that's as close to a weapon as I've got right now. So, now I can, okay, I'm going to break these. And that added quite a bit. I'm going to need a lot of wood for fixing my floors too, but right now I'm not going to try and get enough for the floors. She's going to make sure, okay, I have more than enough for this. Now you can jump over the back fence. You do not have to go around to the front. I know I am going to need a stone stool for this. And bring that down. That's going to have to be here on the on that bar. And I'm going to come here. And the first thing I'm going to be asked to build after the pickaxe and the axe is a stone furnace. And I'm going to need it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, with relevant part equipped, aim at the silhouette of the con construct. Then press left mouse button to place it. The assembly station console can be used to view material requirements or cancel the construction. Parts can be installed or recovered when standing near the construct silhouette. Then pressing right mouse button or I guess that's for something else for a different uh, controller. With all parts in place, press the E key to pick, uh, 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 pick up the item. Okay, so we're going to place, okay, I only needed 10 wood, but I'm going to need wood for something else anyway. Let's see. So let's put that down and put that down and we have made it. And, okay, let's go turn this stuff in as you can see I have used most of my stamina already I am down to 50 stamina and I still have things I need to do nice to see you how nice are you settling you in mostly. uh not hang so in good. there yeah I will let me introduce you to the commerce guild Thank you. We're the organization that orchestrates trade across the entire Free Cities region. This is the Porsche branch. We're pretty busy throughout the year. That's weird. Now then, let me give you your builder test. This is pretty easy. Make an axe and pickaxe and bring them to me. Sure thing. You need to have wood and stones to make these. You can you gather say. them on your own or buy them from the Total Tools in Central Square. I think I'll gather After them. you have the raw materials, you need to craft the items on a work table. I saw your pa's old one in your yard, so check and see if that still works. It, it does. Ah! Excellent quality! Nicely done. You can keep them. I just wanted to see what you can do. Now for the second test. You are to build a stone furnace. This one's a bit tougher. You need to use the assembly station in your yard to complete this task. Sure hmm. If I remember correctly, your pa kept a very detailed account of the things he made. You might want to flip through his workshop handbook and see if you can find a diagram for the stone furnace. Once you have a diagram, just use it on the assembly station in your yard to start construction. Absolutely. Got it. Great job. You pass. I knew I would. This Thank you. This is your builder license. Congratulations! Well, now you just need to take this license over to the mayor's office and get your workshop registered. After which, you can start taking regular commissions. Come Thank back and talk with me after you register. I sure will. Now, the reason you want to get this all done in one day is because 
if you didn't notice, you start out with half your stamina because of having had a bad night's sleep. If you want to start out with full stamina the next day, you need and a little extra stamina. Welcome, welcome! You need to You get this must done. be the new builder! I'm Gail, the mayor of this town. It is truly wonderful to see young people getting involved in the telesis of our society. What's with this telesis thing? Nobody uses the word telesis. Where did they come up with the word telesis? They must have really, really been scouring the dictionary for that word. I'm here to register my workshop. Very well. What is the name of your workshop? Nagorbs, of course. What else would I call my workshop? Yep, gonna be Nagorbs. Nice name. There, your yeah. registration is I knew you'd complete. Say that. Thank, Thank you. you. Also, we're going to have a fireside town meeting once in a while. Uh, they'll be announced through the mail. Try to make them if you can. You don't want me being the only one there. <laughs> yeah, why not? <clears throat> uh, I will cover town and world events at large, uh, the usual, you know. All right, I'll show up when I want to. All right. Now to... Take care of this. You're now a bona fide workshop owner. Your pa would have been so proud. He ditched me. Who cares what he uh, what he's proud of? Let me explain some of the processes for our trade. Here at the Porsche office, we post workshop commissions every day on the board over there. Based okay. on the speed and quality of the results, we make a ranking of the workshops every week listed on the wall behind me. There are other workshops in Porsche? Yep. Podunk little town barely got en uh, 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 barely got enough to uh, uh, to function and they got a uh, whole bunch of workshops. Oh yes, adding yours, there will be five workshops in our jurisdiction. Besides the ranking list, you also have a workshop rating, which is listed on your license. The higher your rating, the higher quality the commissions you can get. But don't worry, if you have your father's work ethic, you'll be number one in no time. All right. Once you're done with your orders, you can pick yeah, up the I commission will. fee from Antoine if it's from the guild or the respective person who commissioned you. Builders make most of their money from doing commissions through the Commerce Guild. But some just build items and sell directly to the market. That's fairly lucrative as well. Okay. Anyway, since this is your first commission, I've kept one just for you. Playing favorites, are we? Higgins, you already took one today. There are never too many commissions. You Good will day. regret that, Higgins. That's Runt. He's the owner of the current number one workshop. Brilliant businessman, but I don't like the way he does things. Well, I'm sorry. That was our last one today. Hey, Press, I've got a job Looks for you. Like or not. What is it, Arlo? We're looking to build a bridge to Amber Island. Are you now? So the mayor finally put up the money? Well, young builder here is up for the challenge. I sure am. Yeah, he figured that place could be a real tourist attraction. What with the haunted cave and all. Okay. Check your pa's workshop handbook to see if he has a bridge diagram in there. I remember he built a bunch. If it's there, use it at your assembly station. After you're done with the bridge pieces, you need to go to the designated spot and assemble the bridge. Okay, I can do that. Also, and this is important, for a project as big as a bridge, you'll probably need to dive into the abandoned ruins to gather materials. We have one such ruin in Portia. It's located at the bottom of the temple tower. Okay, you've actually got a couple, but that's the only one that's open right now. All right, we're done, and there are still commissions on the board over here. Uh, I have a Class D license, which allows me to take one level above my Class D. 
So let's look at what's available here. Now you'll notice that there are a number of different things here. This first one here is how much money, game money you will receive for doing this commission. The next one is how much experience you will get toward your next level. And then the next one is your rep, uh, your rep points, your reputation points. Uh, this one is really important. Uh, people who are interested in social, uh, social relationships will focus mostly on this one. Uh, this is the relationship points you get with the person you do the commission for. Um, that's all well and dandy. Uh, some people will focus on the, uh, the one that gets the most here, but if you want to beat Higgins, you need the one that gets you the most here, the reputation points. Uh, me, I don't really worry about that because I'm going to pass Higgins. I just need more cash on hand to do the things the way that I want to do them. So I'm going to look at all these and pick the ones, the one that pays the most money and that I'm able to do. If I were to accept this one, I would not be able to do it because I do not yet have the equipment to make fiber cloth. So this would be several days before I could get this done. And during that period of time, I would not be able to accept any more commissions. So I'm going to look for one that I can do right now again. I can't do this one yet. I would be several days before I could do this one and I would lose out on other commissions. You'll notice the relationship points here are really good, 20 relationship points, but the rep points are, uh, are less. Experience is roughly the same, money a little bit better. This one right here, okay, she needs a bookshelf, okay. This presents a problem because none of these, none of these are anything that I can do at the moment. Um, yeah, all of these are going to cause me to have to wait another, a couple of days. And this one's probably the one I am, should hold off on the most, but I'm tempted by the money and I think I'm going to go ahead and grab this one since no matter which one I take, I'm going to have to take a couple of days to build equipment to complete the task. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this one. Yeah. I should be able to do a bookshelf with within the same length of time I would be able to do those so I'm going to go ahead and take that one I probably should forgo a mission today I probably should forgo a mission today just so that I can take one tomorrow I'm going to I'm going to be foolish here alright the next thing I absolutely have to do is gather wood. I got to fix my house. Now, I can't cut that tree down yet because, see, you need a better axe. You need, stone axe will cut down small trees. With a stone axe, you can cut down small trees. And you'll notice I'm getting more than just wood. Other things that I'm going to need. So, this is better than gathering sticks. Once I have, once I have an axe and a pickaxe, I don't gather sticks or stones off the ground anymore. I just cut down uh, okay, um, hoping I've got enough to fix my floor. That is my main priority right now, fix my floor. All 
I also want to make sure that I put this up on the wall because that's an extra 20 stamina. Let's go ahead and put that on the wall right above my bed. There we go. Slap it there. And we look here and we see builder's license adds 20 stamina. I can get an extra, an additional 50 stamina above what I start with just from things I add to my house, an extra 100 health, an extra 30 attack and 30 defense by things I add to my house. So, first thing I'm going to do here is fix my floor. Yes, I want to spend three wood to fix that and three wood to fix that. This one's going to take 20 wood and yes I will fix that and this one will take 10 wood and yes I will fix that. All the gaps have been fixed. I'm finally going to have a good night's sleep. Now I'll wake up in the morning and I will have a full 220 stamina or actually more 230 stamina uh, and I still have not I should have added this forgot to add that because that point at, I got that point at the uh, Commerce Guild while I was deep in conversation so I forgot all about it so let's add that right away and we will level that much faster now I have two missions here it calls them missions I keep thinking quests because all prior games I've played called them quests but they're missions here Okay, uh, this one uh, is going to take me a while, and I'm not going to rush it because there is no time limit. Uh, the money is good, the experience is good, the rep points are good, but as soon as I complete this one, I will be forced to move on. Things will start coming at me hard and heavy. Now, there's a balance here. I will not be able to get new metals and new thing, certain new things I will not have access to until I complete this. So the, there is a balance. Although I can put it off indefinitely, there's a limit to how long I want to put it off because, well, I want to start getting those other things. But for right now, I want to get myself set up. I want to get myself in a good position. Now, this one, I've got nine days to complete this commission. I don't want to wait nine days. I want to get this one done as fast as I possibly can. So that means I need to get to building other things. I have a little bit of equipment here. Uh, I am going to spend that wood to make a box to store things in because right now that is more important, being able to keep these spaces free to gather stuff is more important than in almost anything else right now. Uh, 400 goals I simply do not have right at the moment, but I will get them. Okay, so. I'll run out here and... here and I will build a box, a wooden storage, and that takes almost all of my wood that is remaining. But now I will put it right here next to this. I like to place my boxes strategically. You can access all boxes. You can access all boxes from any one box. So do I need to upgrade? No, I do not need to upgrade. Oh, I do need hardwood, though. I do need hardwood. So, I am going to have to get things a lot faster than I normally would. Okay. Uh, okay. So, my most, my most immediate problem here is I am broke. I need a way of getting money. And right here is my best way of getting money. Uh, 
I need a copper bar. That's going to take three copper ore. I need two cocoon, wild cocoons. That's going to take kick in a tree. And I need 15 wood. Plus I need the wood to make the copper bar. So I need 35 wood because it's going to take 20 wood to fuel the furnace. Probably one copper bar won't take the whole 20 wood, but to be on the safe side, I need 35 wood. So, um, so the fishing pole probably isn't going to happen today. I need a more immediate way to get money. Uh, and or more stamina. So, I need to go find some chests. Now that I have no stamina, there. when you have no stamina, there are... There are a couple of things you can still do. Uh, you can go look for chests, because it doesn't take any stamina to open a chest. And you can go talk to people and socialize and gain, uh, and gain uh, the uh, relationship points. And you can go to a game room. There's a game room where you can earn night badges to purchase things in the game room, kind of like you earn tickets at Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> it's, it's a game room just like Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> okay, so um, chests first. I am going to go find some chests and get enough money and I think I'm going to sit down and eat a meal and get more energy so I can gather some of some of these things so let's do that uh, oh first let me get rid of let me get rid of all this stuff into the box into the box into the box into the box I will be able to access everything that's in the box for crafting without having to take it out Let's see, this can go right there. That's like where I like to put my first furnace. And let's see, if I am not mistaken, there is at least one box over this way. I could be mistaken, but I am going to look and see. I'm pretty sure, yep, there is a box there. Okay. Ah, money. I need money. And from here, I think I can get up here. Uh, always check on top of rooftops. I can't remember. Yep. Good. There's one here. Okay. If you can get, to, if you can get to a place, there is a possibility that you will find a chest there. So everywhere you can get to, go to. Everywhere you can get to, go to. Okay. All right. So, like I said before, I do not remember where all of the chests are. I do remember they were on rooftops and inside, inside houses. inside buildings. If you can get into a building, go in, look for a chest. Any building you can get into, there's a possibility you can find a chest in. So, every building you can get into, you should go in and look for a chest. Let's see, I remember there is a chest over here. Where is it? Ah. Right there. Uh, it's right there. And there is a chest over here. Right there. I'm not sure 
wonder if I can get in here. I think I can still get in here. I know I can't get in school. I know it's too late to get in the school. Ah, but I am in here. And so, ah, there are two chests in this apartment. You get a slingshot, which I haven't found a use for, and a magnetic bracelet that you can, can use for a while to boost your stats. And when you find something better, you can give it as a gift. Uh, one of the people you really want to be friends with uh, really likes it. You'll get a lot of relationship points. Okay, so I'm not done yet. There are more chests to be had. This one is easy. Now, salad sauce. You can get a small amount of stamina from that, but it is better to save it and make some salad, uh, 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 some salad with it. You get more out of the salad, and the salad can also be used to gain relationship points. So, all right. Okay, there is still another one. Now, these most of these chests are worthless to you if you don't get them in the first week or so. They, it, it, this, stuff, it, this stuff has its most value right now when you need, it, it, when you need something, you know, when, when you need it. Uh, it does not have much value later on when, once you accumulated things. So look around the, the first couple of days we, once you burn out your you know, once you burn out all of your uh, all of your stamina, you should be spending your time looking for chests. They are most of them relatively easy to find. A few of them are fairly well hidden. few of them are very much out of sight, so you want to... There is one inside the school, but there is one that you cannot see that is right here. And let's see, there's one right here. one in the park, but there, there are several behind buildings. There are several that are behind buildings. So, There are certain people you want to start working on making friends with right away. There are certain people whose friendship really, really, really matters, and you want you you want to start as early as possible to make friends with them. go in here. If I'd gotten here earlier, I could go in there, but I didn't get here early enough. Um, okay.
Okay, so I've got 60 seconds before I'm going to pass out here. I will find as many of these as I can because <coughs> I want it. I want to have as much as I can the first day. Um, where are there some more? I don't have time to get it, so I'm going to try the one down here. There's one more you can get from up here. Ah, knew that was going to happen. Okay. see. I acquired a few things here. Uh, this will give me more health. So that's going on my wall right now. This will give me attack power. So that's going there. This will give me defense. So that's going there. This will give me defense. So that's going there. Uh, these I'll be able to use for more stamina when I need stamina. That I'm going to hang on to. Uh, this can be a gift. There are a bunch of people who I can give that to. So uh, Stamina, so I want to hang on to that. Early on in the game... It, it, I, I'm not likely to need something to restore my health. Uh, stamina is the big thing right away. Early on, stamina is what I am going to need a lot of. So, okay. First things first, that gets hung up, and then I put away the other stuff. Okay, so I've gotten myself up to 225 goals. And okay. This is going on the wall. I guess right next to that. There you go. And now uh I have some additional health. That's nice. And let's see. Uh, that's going in there. Gonna want that. Gonna need two of those though. So one of them by itself doesn't do me a lot of good. And that and you know I may just go ahead and use that for the stamina it gives today I am going to be trying to do as much as I possibly can and if I had a drying rack I would use that but I've got to upgrade my workbench to get a drying rack because uh, this is much better 10% of your max is much better than 20% uh, stamina. Uh, uh, later on, and right now it's a little bit better. But as your stamina goes up, 10% becomes more and more. 20% uh, it's an aroma apple. This on a drying rack would get me 10 of these. So this is much better you know, dried out. But right now, I need everything I can get, so later on I'll worry about whether or not I dry them. Okay, let's see. Okay, can't do anything right now with that. Okay, and Antoine, hey builder, at the end of the week, we need qualified people to inspect these products. To coordinate with this, we will not post any regular commissions during the weekend. But feel free to turn them in. Antoine, day three, month one, year one. 
Okay, Antoine. <laughs> Hello, new builder. We'd like to remind you that Porsche currently has two authorized ruins for you to dive in. An abandoned ruin number one below the Church of the Light and a hazardous ruin in the collapsed wasteland east of town. For your own safety, all other ruins are currently off limits. Thank you, Porsche Town Hall. Day three, month one, year one. Hey, new builder, I have a manly commission for you to help you get settled in. You feeling it? I'm in need of three copper blades for some, uh, some of my furniture. I expect nothing but macho quality, okay? Also, if you don't have one already, you'll need a grinder to create these blades. That's all I know about builder stuff. Day three, month one, year one. And that's Polly, and we're going to accept that. Ah, uh, hi, builder. I just want to inform you that the Civil Corps of Porsche can take uh, can take some commissions from you when it comes to gathering materials from hazardous ruins. You can post a commission on our commission board in the Civil Corps building at the northern end of town. There are some guidelines on the board that you should read before posting a commission. That's all, Arlo. Porsche Civil Corps, day three, month one, year one. Okay, that's all my mail. And now I need to cut some trees. I need to cut lots and lots of trees. I'm going to use about half my stamina to do this. And the reason I'm only going to use half my stamina to do this is because then I am going diving in the ruins to try and gather what I can out of the ruins. Now, I can cut these little things, but they give me no wood. They just give me uh, fiber, which I get plenty of by cutting these small trees. Uh, that's just a waste of my energy. So I do not bother cutting those. I will get more than enough fiber without cutting any of those. These guys I'll fight later. Right now, I don't need anything from them. I will need things from them later. And... Hey! hey Doc. Phyllis is a good helper and a quick learner. My work has gotten a lot easier because of her. I'm so glad to hear that. Thank you. Bye! Okay. Uh, hey there, I'm Chiwa, the smallest of the Hulu brothers. There are seven of us, so uh, it'll probably take you a while to get used to it. <laughs> uh-huh. Hey, you're the new builder, right? I'm Chiwa. I live to fish, but a big one broke my fishing rod yesterday. Can you make me a new one? <laughs> All right. Oh, you got thank it, buddy. you. Thank you. And I'm also going to say Is my hi, fishing so rod done? Points with you. No, my fish, your fishing rod is not done. See you. How fast do you think I am? Okay, normally I would not. I'm going to want to make friends with them, but right now I'm going to sweat that. Normally I would not bother looking for chests, but this one has to be gotten early. So... Because this building closes at 4. This is the local school. And I want that satchel. There are four people you absolutely want to make friends with early in the game. 
Uh, also, always check the prices here. See this market price? This is real important. Right now, it's at 101%. That is, that affects how much you are going to pay because these prices that they show here, that's the, uh, the extra percentages get added to it. And if it's less than a 100%, it gets subtracted from it. And this also affects how much you can get for stuff that you choose to sell to him. Like this right here. If I were to sell this to him right now, I'd get an extra, an extra one goal because of this 101 market price. So these these price it, it, this market price fluctuates anywhere from 70% up to 140%. So you want to watch that. Keep an eye on it. When it's down when it's down in the 70s, go buy out everything that that you're going that you think you might need in the future, especially these right here. These upgrade kits, you're going to need a few of those, both for your own upgrades and for commissions people give you. So, you want to buy, whenever you see this down in the 70s, if you've got enough money to buy 10 of these, buy 10 of these. That makes, if, if you wind up with 30, 40, 50 of them, that just means you can do lots of extra commissions with them. You're only going to need probably... 10 or less for your own upgrades, but probably not even 10. You probably won't even need 10 for your own upgrades, but you might need as many as 10 for your own, uh, own upgrades. Then there are commissions. You can it, it will allow you to uh, to take commissions if you buy them when they're at 70%. And you can always sell them back for more money when they're at 140%. That's that is just very important to know so that you know uh you can come buy stuff from them when it's in the 70s and sell it back to them when when it's going for 130 140 so uh this that is another way of making money here uh market fluctuate market price fluctuations are another way of making money in the game they do fluctuate every day so keep an eye on them so you know when to sell and when to buy so that's uh, market price fluctuation in a nutshell. And it's very, very important, very, very important to keep an eye on that, uh, those market prices. You do not want to sell when market prices are down in the, in the 70 percentiles. And you do not want to buy when the market prices are up in the 140 percentiles. So. Uh, you will want to make friends with most of the shop owners. They'll give you a discount for, uh, they will give you a discount for uh, being their friend. Uh, everything I'm going to need, I'm going to need things from the ruins. So I am going to go diving in the ruins. Hey there. First time ruin diving? Yep. First time. Yep. Alrighty. Let me explain then. All the ruins in the Alliance of Free Cities are regulated by the Civil Corps. To enter the ruins, you'll need to pay a weekly maintenance fee, but we'll give you a 60% discount the first time. That's cool. When you enter, I'll give you the jetpack and scanner. Very handy ancient relics. Mining for resources becomes a lot easier when you have these equipped. When you come out, we'll need them back, since they're very rare. Okay, I promise not to break them. Cross my heart. Hope to die. This one beside me is an abandoned ruin. No monsters or robots in there. Just resources and relics like power stones. Anything you find in the ruins are yours to keep. Unless they're ancient weapons. Then we're supposed to hand them over to the church for destruction. Not on your life. Okay, I'm done. Have fun and be safe in there. Okay. Uh, there are minor monsters in here, nothing in the in the secret rooms, nothing serious to be worried about. 
uh, but you do want to bring some kind of weapon. My boxing gloves will work on these. Okay, so here we go. Uh, yes, 80 goals. In the future, it will be 200. So uh, first time it's 80, after that it's 200 for this first ruin. Every ruin after this is more expensive as you go up in levels. Okay, aim the reticule at the position you want to dig, then press or hold the left mouse button. Okay, uh, when using both the axe and the pickaxe, you only have to hold the left mouse button down. You do not have to keep repeatedly pressing it. Uh, when fighting with a sword or other weapons, you do have to keep click, 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 click on the left mouse button. Uh, they will not auto keep repeating. Uh, press the F key to scan with the relic scanner. Nearby relics will show up as globes of light. This is important if you are after relics. And believe me, you want to find the relics because putting together the relics is one of the passive ways of accumulating relationship points. People will see the relic assembled in your yard if you put them out in your yard. And the people who like those types of relics, each person likes different relics, the one who, ones who like that relic will give you relationship points when, it, when they see that relic in your yard. And there are relationship points you get with their friends and family also when you pass a certain threshold. Every time you pass a certain threshold of, uh, of someone liking you, their friends and family like you a little bit more too. Okay, uh, press and hold the space bar to fire the jet pack, uh, then use movement controls to move around. Open the map and press e, the E key to return to the entrance of the ruins. Okay. Uh, I am not really interested right now in relics. I'm in here to get... Well, color. wasn't much copper, but that was a little bit. Okay. I also don't mind getting some stone. Uh, the thing about stone... Oh, good copper. Good copper right here. Uh, the thing about stone is uh, you can... You're going to need it to make bricks. And you can take any excess stone and convert it one for one to wood at uh, the construction site. So it, it, the uh, construction company where you get your upgrades for your house and your, and your equipment. There's nothing wrong with a little little extra stone. Oh, I, there was something I meant to do before I came in here. But, oh well. Okay. I am not done. I am going to use my resources. And keep right on digging. Good job. Every time, oh, I got two points. I've been wasting time here. Okay, I will put them both right there. So I will level up faster. 
and That will have to do for right now, but I will be coming in here on a regular basis. I did not get... I was really counting on passive. I got six days to give in that. Furniture maker. Eight days for that. Okay, I was really counting on getting some discs. I did not get any discs. So, I'm gonna have to go a little bit longer than I intended. Let's see what I get. Okay, I still didn't get any discs. I need some discs. Any closer than that? No, that looks to be about as close as I'm going to get. Now, some people may come up out of the hole to go looking for another one. Uh, I prefer to just dig straight through because by digging straight through to it, you gain resources and there's a chance of getting more data disks just in the dirt. Uh, okay. That's 16.5. 16.35. We're going to go for that one. And I'm not going to make it. Can I make it if I take... Take that and that and that. Ah. other things I need to do so it looks like I will hmm, I really need to find those old parts okay can I get to it that way do I have enough to get to it got an eyeglass. Okay, so I now have no stamina and I still have to use stamina out here to gather other things. There are other things I need. So I will be forced to, oh, yes, absolutely have to talk to him. I want that. Hello. That quest. 
meet and greet quest. Absolutely. Wonderful. I hope Porsche Get can be Porsche more prosperous Alpha. under. Uh, four people that you absolutely want to be friends with as fast as possible. One is the mayor. Uh, two of them are the people in A and G, in A and G construction, and Antoine is the fourth. Uh, actually, the fifth is Presley. Those five people you absolutely want to be friends with right away. The perks are astronomical for being friends with them. Uh, the mayor, you get uh, discounts on land. A and G construction, you get discounts on the amount of materials to upgrade and the amount of money to upgrade. Uh, Antoine will pay you better for your commissions if you're friends with him. And Presley will give you extra bonus uh, rep points for being friends with him. So you want to be friends with them as fast as you possibly can. Chat them up, find things that they like, give them presents as fast as, as often as possible right away, okay? Oh, right. You should get to know some of the people living in this town for your own benefit. I've made a list of the store owners within the city walls. You should go introduce yourself. Thank you very much, I will do that. Hi, Isaac. I have yet to realize any benefit to being friends with Isaac. Uh, this is a shop owner. Hi. But she's not I on haven't the seen list. you around. You are? Uh, but she's. If you want, if you're going to be uh, giving flowers. Do you see anything you like? Her flowers All my flowers are for, freshly uh, picked. Uh, for presents, some people really like the flowers. If you're going to be buying flowers from here, you want to be a friend with her to get the discount. You want to be friends with her to get the discount from her. Uh, Polly over here should be one of the shop owners. Yeah. Welcome, smallish builder. I sell furniture here in my store. So if you have any need for manly decors, you know where to find me. Well, that's And wonderful. since I'm so manly, I'm going to give you this to get you started. I really need it. Thank you. Thank you so much. I really, really need that. And uh, Sonia, for some reason, is not one of the shop owners you need to talk to. Or maybe she doesn't actually own the shop. Maybe she's just a... Oh, a new just builder! Just a waitress. Always nice to see young folks moving in. If you need refreshments, I'm your man. Try this. It's on me this time. All right, we got some more. Uh, OJ. Hey! Um, I think I... Have you tried your luck in the game to... corner? Uh, I handpicked the prizes, so there's bound to be something good to win there. <laughs> All right, there we go. And um, let's see, uh, Ginger. You're you must be the new builder. Buddy with. It's so nice to meet you. I'm Ginger. Hope you find it. Uh, there is no no perk to getting more than buddy with her unless you want to. You're the new her, builder. But I'm Gust. I'd love to stop and chat. Tea, cake, and all, but I'm busy. Yeah, Augustus, one of the people you absolutely need to be friends with. Hey, welcome to Portia. I'm pretty much the only doctor around here, so come see me when you need to heal up or buy health items. Here, have. That's wonderful. Here, uh, Mars is one. Nice of to have here. you. If you need tools or weapons, you can come to my shop. It's got the best selection around these parts. Now, you look like a nice kid, so I'm going to give you these for free, as a leg up. Don't tell my wife, though. Oh, I absolutely will. I'm going to tell on you. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, and here... The Commerce Guild is always busy, Presley. but I feel like I'm taking part in the talysis of the world. Yeah, you, you absolutely want to find gifts that he will like, but there is nothing here. Uh... I have one. Okay. There is nothing there that he would like that he would not get upset about getting, so we will not give him any. Okay, this is your game room. Uh, for 30 goals, you can shoot balloons. 20 goals, you can throw darts. And you can feed the gator here. The slot machine will gladly take your goals. And you can, any winnings you make from doing those things, you can spend here 
and something thing you may want to purchase things here to give as gifts this right here will be necessary for one of your quests one of your missions but it's not this is not the only way to get it there are other ways to get it uh, but this is the most guaranteed sure way to get it okay so let's see um i am going to i need more stamina to get done the things that i want to do today uh now you can get a little bit more stamina by adding more food but it, it's it's just not worth the extra goals to uh, to keep adding more. You, know, you can get right around a hundred uh, stamina out of, uh, out of this menu if you want to spend a lot of goals. But I'm uh, 57 stamina should be enough for me to get what I need. Okay, so I am going to pay that. I am going to eat my banner fish and get 57 stamina out of it and then i am going to that's just defense i'm going to get the last stamina i can get from that okay uh, i suddenly have a lot of missions this one is not time sensitive. Just got to meet everybody. Say hi to them all. Uh, this one's not time sensitive. I got to go to the research center. Uh, I'd rather do that when I have enough discs to give her so she can research something for me. And this one, uh, it's not time sensitive, but when I do it, I get it, I'll get a seed out of it. Um, the archaeologist, this is another one for the research center, not time sensitive. This one is time sensitive, got to get that done. This one is not time sensitive. This one is time sensitive, and I am nowhere near being able to do it. And I am losing commissions every day that I don't do it. So this one is my first priority. But I also need money. also need money so that means I need a fishing pole I'm gonna kick a tree here Full up this this bites okay I do not have enough money to buy a additional slots so I am forced to let's see we'll put stuff in here and lots more eventually but right now just one I need lots of boxes before before I get to the point where I don't need them okay I guess okay I can put it right there that's I like to place these boxes strategically where I might need them because you can access everything from one box. Now the discs I'm going to keep on me. I need those. Um, 
I'm going to wait for a special occasion to give him that so I get the most bang for the buck on that. So that's going to go in there. And let's see. Okay, I need to get started here. Refuel. Make some copper bars. Copper bars are going to be absolutely essential. And now I still have stamina. I can. Let's see. What will I get the most for here? Still need. Yep. Still need to kick trees. Okay. Usually you get a couple of cocoons when you kick these. So I am surprised that the first one I kicked, I did not get any cocoons from. Was it? Yeah, yeah, I didn't get everything from it. Okay, so I did get a cocoon from it. Okay, so... Right, now I have three cocoons. I want to use the rest of my energy to cut down more trees. That one was ready to go from previous chopping. Now, my pickaxe will not break this one. My pickaxe will only break the little ones. Until I upgrade to a brass pickaxe, I will only be able to break the smallest of rocks. Okay. One more point. This final one on this. And that gives me 25% increase in gained experience. I will level 25% faster now. And that is awesome. Awesome! So. Okay. Let me just pick some sticks up off the ground. That's all I got enough stamina for. And what else can I do here? Now, the fuel on these things only takes them 20 hours tops. Uh, 19, 20 hours. So, um, the bookshelf. Oh, I can do that. Let me craft. Well, I'll craft one right now, and I'll craft his later. Uh, that will let me go fishing. God, I need more cocoons for his. Um, so that only takes, that doesn't take hard work. No hard work for that. Uh, that's going to take eight hard work. So. Let me go ahead and make another furnace. I'm going to want more furnaces. And, and two. 
I am about to pass out, but maybe I will get this laid down and started. Ah, got it laid down, didn't get it started. All right, guys, that is uh, the end of the first episode, and um, I hope we got a lot out of it. I will... Uh, Definitely try to get as much out of every day that I can in the future. Uh, that's uh, That is not as much as I would have hoped for a first day, but we'll keep plugging at it, and uh, I will see you in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, please like, subscribe, and uh, hit the bell so you don't miss any of these videos about my time at Porsche, Nagorb's time at Porsche. Thank you so much, and God bless you.